What's up, you all? Today we're talking about how to stream PC VR games utilizing Quest 2, wireless, and using Steam VR. So these are all very much prestige steps in order to do this but we're doing it the fastest and simplified way just so we can explain it to you breaking it down giving y'all examples and getting straight to the point so if y'all like stuff like this go ahead and hit us up with a thumbs up and a subscribe i appreciate y'all so first things first of course when it comes down to pc vr it's an upper echelon of pcs you need to ensure that your pc is pc vr ready now here's my idea and my insights on that so if you have a pc that's pc uh, vr ready utilize the specs and i'll try to attach some specs right here so when you use the specs you want to look more in depth on how you can do that while encoding to Twitch, especially if you're just using one PC. If you're just using one PC for a PC VR stream, it's going to be very difficult, but ensure that you have your monitor set up, have everything set up. That's why we're going to go through all this. So next, it's either if you're going to have one, you're going to have to have that hardwired to your modem or to your dedicated Wi-Fi router, whatever you have for your internet service, you need to connect it hardwired. I always recommend you hardwire. That's just what you should do 100%. Never have a PC that's PC VR needed or ready and have that type of caliber and just use it as Wi-Fi. Hardwire that because you're going to need to be able to go wireless with the Quest 2. But in order to do that with a strong connection, you need the PC VR. Next, if you do, speaking of dedicated Wi-Fi, if you have a dedicated Wi-Fi, that's fine. You can use that for our next step, so make sure you're listening. Now, you could do that setup, or you can have a two-dual uh, PC setup. That's kind of up to you. I use a two-PC setup, and I'll explain that more later. So next, you'll have to have, now after you have your PC as PC VR ready, everything, now you have to download the Oculus desktop app so you can actually be able to do things and get that Quest 2 into your PC so it can be shown on there, similar to what Oculus Casting does. Download the Oculus desktop app. Next, download the Steam desktop app. These are free. Then within the Steam app, after you install it, you have to get Steam VR. After you get Steam VR, you're able to play some games that are just PC VR essential. Now, Oculus has their own home and Steam VR has their own home. So what you do, the reason why you have to download Oculus um, Oculus Desktop at first is because you need to utilize a thing called AirLink. AirLink is going to be the best way for this situation just because it's faster and it's wireless. But you can always just link manually if you want, but this is just a wireless tutorial. AirLink, I would recommend because it's free. Now, it's not always the best, but if you can get your stable connection going and get a dedicated Wi-Fi router, you're pretty much fine. I utilize it on my streams all the time. Y'all can check out my streams. I do have everything in the description box below. Cheap plug. So when you have Steam VR, get the game you want. Let's, let's use Phasmophobia as an example. So I got Phasmophobia. Phasmophobia is only available PC VR, so you can't use that on the Quest 2 as a standalone. So what I do with that, I downloaded it as I would. This is in ensuring and ensuring that you did already download Steam and all that stuff. So I download the games and everything first just so I have everything set up and ready in case something happens and you need to manually go back to your PC. With Steam VR open, I download Phasmophobia, whatever you charge it to, buy it, get it, download it, have it ready and set up. With Steam, all the things are internal. So as long as you have the Steam app, you buy everything in there, it's going to keep it in the app loaded up in there. So you have that. I have Phasmophobia in there. Next, we need what you need to do is go to the Oculus desktop app. You need to enable AirLink. This is going to allow you to be able to cast and be able to get that AirLink going to get PC VR rolling. Now, PC needs to be hardwired. Remember that. Next, you need to go into your Quest 2 headset. You put that on. When you put on that Quest 2 headset, there's going to be a setting for you to get into AirLink. Now, these settings are very easy now thanks to all the updates. There have been multitudes and millions of updates already from the Quest 2 from like four months ago to now. And they're doing it to improve the simplicity, which is why I was able to create this tutorial and make it as easy and simplified an understanding for you. So let's go over. We're already midway through. So let's go over the beginning again. PC, that's PC VR ready. Remember, have that. Then hardwire that PC, have a dedicated Wi-Fi router, download the Oculus desktop app, download Steam, then download Steam VR inside Steam. Then you're going to go into your Quest headset and go to uh, Air uh, Aircast. I mean, uh, AirLink. I'm sorry. Go to AirLink and um, you want to enable it in the desktop. Then you enable it in your headset. After that, now you need to connect them together, make sure everything's on the same network. Once all that is said and done, this is where it gets extremely difficult when it comes down to streaming PC VR. You need to download a, stre a streaming software. I'm going to use Streamlabs OBS because it's easier for beginners. I'm assuming you're here because you want to get to the point and you want to be able to learn. Download Streamlabs OBS. You need to set it up however you want. You get a stream key. You link it to whatever you want. It's all free. 
But the beautiful thing about Streamlabs OBS is that it's very easy and it's very hands-on. These are hands-on situations that I know are all going to help you. We just had to piece them together because this type of research is not online. Everything that people are sharing right now is kind of outdated. So this is for you. Download Streamlabs. Get your starting soon screen. Uh, if y'all haven't really seen a stream before, it's basically just creating your own online show. So make a scene, make a starting soon, make an ending one, make an intermission one where you're talking to your chat. And then also make like gameplay or if you're streaming uh, just football, whatever you're doing. But in this example, you're streaming PC VR games. So in order to do that, you need to add yourself in your software. After everything's set up, you link either Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook, whatever you decide to stream on. Then you um, you would have to go, you would add something. You're going to add an element, but not, now you have to add either a display capture or a game capture, depending on how your PC works. Some are different with different streaming softwares. With me, it's more of adding a display capture. It's basically what I'm doing is I'm adding my PC to the window as if I was just playing PC games. That's the easiest way to really get it popular when it comes down to steam vr you're essentially setting up your streaming software as if you're just playing pc games because all you're doing wirelessly is just connecting them together so what you need to do with that set up that Streamlabs obs get it going get it going have that display capture have it ready as long as you can have your pc in the streaming software already whatever you're doing if you're just uh, searching uh, searching google if you're just on it in general just ensure that your streaming software is well intertwined with your uh with your pc already intact so that you're able to get into the air link and be able to do everything and then everything is already pre-set up easiest way possible trust me display capture it's like a dot exe depending on what your setup is next now this is going to be the final step air linking it essentially air linking it so when you air link you're going to have to do the air link on the desktop uh, oculus app then you do the air link on your quest 2 headset when you do this it's a wireless format very easy same network goes in when you're in everything changes now you're gonna have a different home screen because quest 2 standalone is way different from quest 2 pc vr version the home version so now you're in a different home it's an all white room you're ready to go but the thing is you're in the oculus home you're not in the steam home so you have to get into the steam home if you want to play phasmophobia what we're using for this example so then in your Quest 2 headset, when you're now into PC VR on the Oculus Home, you need to switch over, open up Steam, because now you can see your whole desktop view just from your Quest 2 headset now. Then you're going to choose Steam and go into Steam VR, but it's going to ask you, like, you, it's going to tell you at first, you can't have two homes open at the same time that are VR essential, because, I mean, obviously, it's powerful, and it's too much to run. So... Exit out of the Oculus Home, agree to it that you're going to go to the Steam. Steam ends up changing up the whole dynamic, the whole environment changes and everything. Then you're now in Steam. Going to Steam VR, they have a whole list of games ready for you. All you have to do is go to your library as if you're already in Steam. So Steam and Steam VR work very much alike, just like uh, the Oculus desktop app and the Quest 2 work alike a lot. So when you're in Steam VR, you're ready to go. You're ready to open it up. Then your game is right there. You click it. Now you're actually in the game. You can see everything on your desktop. And as long as you can see everything on your desktop, if you set it up the right way, I said within your streaming software, such as Streamlabs OBS, which is very easy. You just add a bunch of sources. And as long as you added your PC source on Streamlabs OBS, you're ready to go. After that, you have the option just right there to go live, but then you have to have your stream key or wherever you're going. So if you're going to go on Twitch, for example, all you have to do is lock those in together, make them good. I use YouTube. So with YouTube, I just have them set up already, and that's about it. I just hit live, and you're ready to go. You can set up your time streams and everything. That's literally how you stream. Let's go over everything. We did a midway point. Now let's do the ending point, the ending point. So now let's go over all of it real quick. PC that's PC VR ready, hardwire it. Have a dedicated Wi-Fi router or just use your Wi-Fi, whatever you want in general. Next, have the Oculus desktop app, have the Steam desktop app, Steam VR desktop app, enable AirLink in the Oculus desktop app. Then you go to stream, download Streamlabs OBS, create your scenes, create your stream how you want it to look. Make sure your PC is able to be displayed in that streaming software by adding a display capture or a game capture, depending on how your works, how your stuff works. Then after that, you're opening the game. You're after you air link, you enable air link, you go on your headset, manually air link yourself, same network. Now you're on your PC, you see everything on your PC that's in VR. Now you can control it through your actual VR controllers, your quest to controllers. But if there's any hitches, just use your mouse still. It's a little bit difficult at times, but that's pretty much the easiest route you can do for that. After that, you just open up Steam in your headset, switch over from Oculus Home to Steam Home, boom, get into Steam VR, and you're ready to go open up Phasmophobia, and it's right there in your face, and you're just ready to play. And just like that, you just hit go live after, and you're live as long as you're linked and intertwined with either a Twitch account, a Facebook account, or YouTube, or all three. And that's it, you all. That's how you stream. 
PC VR games. It is a very, very difficult thing, but that is the fastest and simplified way we can explain it for you. We'll leave some quick notes in the description boxes below, but I appreciate you all so much. If y'all like content like this, where we can deliver it fast and easy and the most updated version wirelessly, especially in today's age, let us know. Consider giving us a thumbs up and a like, and it really does mean the world. I appreciate y'all. Peace.